he was just an incredible person and would talk to anyone and, you know, truly brought back, you know, faith to the area. Kelsey Guthrie has fond memories of Archbishop Wilton Gregory. This photo snapped in 2002 when she was in fourth grade at St. Teresa's Catholic School in downstate Belleville when Gregory was bishop there. He made Catholic school theology and cool for our area just because he was so down to earth and he wasn't self-righteous at all. He was one of the people here. He was a very outgoing and uh, just an extremely likable personality. Peggy Fisher remembers Gregory when he was an associate pastor at Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Glenview in the 1970s, where she worked on racial justice issues with him, excited all these years later to see him elevated to cardinal. You know, I had a feeling that it was coming. I, I thought that he was just perfect. And I was so pleased when I heard it. I thought this Pope really knows what he's doing. Archbishop Gregory was born in Chicago and ordained a priest here in the 1970s. Here in Illinois, he also taught at St. Mary of the Lake Seminary in Mundelein and was an auxiliary bishop in Chicago. In 2004, he was appointed Archbishop of Atlanta, then last year named Archbishop of Washington, D.C. Gregory has also served three times as the head of the U.S. Conference of Bishops. We were so proud of who he who he was here, who he has become, and who he will be, you know, with the Vatican. The cardinal appointment is winning praise from LGBTQ advocates days after Pope Francis voiced support for civil unions for gay couples. Gregory has long supported the gay community, feeling they should be welcome in the Catholic Church. Many feel the timing is also noteworthy given the attention on racial injustice in the U.S. this year. Gregory making headlines recently for slamming President Trump, taking a photo in in front of St. John Paul II National Shrine after protests over the death of George Floyd. I thought there couldn't be a better fit at this time than Father Gregory. And to have him in this sort of position of power in the church. Cardinal Blaise Supich sent this statement uh, tonight saying, while we take particular pride in this recognition of a dedicated priest whom we are proud to claim as our own, we are also moved that Pope Francis chose this compassionate, thoughtful pastor when our nation and the world are in desperate need of healing and courageous leadership. An official ceremony is planned on November 28th. Other new cardinals being appointed from around the world are from Italy, Rwanda, the Philippines, and Chile. Now that ceremony in November, there are travel restrictions in Italy right now, so when it gets closer, we'll have to see if that impacts this uh, celebration.